Welcome to the AON Productions How to Loop Record in Adobe Audition. I'm your host Virgil Hawkins and let's just jump right into it. So what I did was input two waveform loops inside of the project window of Adobe Audition. And basically these uh, loops um, match in tempo. Uh, they're custom loops. They're loops that we created here at AON Productions. And the copy process in Adobe Audition is fairly easy. What you just see me do uh, is take, is right click on top of one of the loops and just simply hold that right click button and just drag out. And what that allows is for you to make a different type or an original type of a copy, a copy reference, what that basically does is take the same wave sample that you see here and makes a reference loop. That way if you change anything on the original, it also changes in the reference. Copy unique means that you're creating a whole new file. Uh, this is very, it depends on exactly what you're trying to do with this waveform. Um, if you're going to change the tempo of this one form and it not affect the original, then you would want to create a unique one so that way they're totally different. But this takes up more hard drive space. So if you have loops that are going to be pretty much the same throughout, it's very easy to just go ahead and create the reference. Uh, you can also move or cancel uh, the clip. You can also grab a series of, uh, of clips and actually make um, more than one copy L like such. I grabbed both of the uh, audio clips that was there and I made um, copies of each clip um, just by right clicking and dragging out. So select, right click and drag out. Uh, what you have in this white line that appears is the the lines to let you know that you've successfully made it to the beginning or the end or faded. Notice as I slightly move my mouse there's this little box that's between the two. This letting you know if you're overlapping the clip or if the clip is at the true beginning of the next um, of the next reference point. So you might want to you really want to pay attention to that when you're creating your reference and copies of these loops because it's very easy to throw off just a smidgen of timing if you're not uh, fully paying attention to those and pretty much uh, let's take a listen to our loop and see what we got everything should be uh, nice and on time And there you have it. That's how to uh, create uh, copies of loops inside of Adobe Audition. Uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos from AON Productions.